City Council is pushing forward on the proposed turf facility despite an 11th hour plea to slow the process down. Good evening and thank you for joining us. Another indoor turf facility discussion last night saw some councillors want to delay a ratification vote. That came after a $42.7 million bid cap was approved in principle last week. Basilios Bellows was at City Hall last night. Basilios, why did some councillors want to delay that vote? Yeah, council ultimately did decide to move forward, Ryan. But some felt there wasn't enough time for the public to consider the option that was approved last week. Others argued a decision of this magnitude shouldn't be made until the new city manager takes on his role. Yet another back and forth discussion regarding the indoor turf facility. Administration has done you a disservice on this file, but you as politicians have been complicit. Former mayoral candidate Shane Judge provided a deputation to city council at Monday's meeting. That came one week after the approval of a turf facility with a $42.7 million bid cap and a demonstration out front of City Hall in favour of the facility. Judge stressed the need for a facility in Thunder Bay, but argued the private sector needs to be involved. Proceed with his plan as it's now configured is to cheat taxpayers. You are cheating them of the chance to find a much less expensive option. Referring the motion back to administration with instructions to do a deeper dive on a private-public partnership won't result in an untenable delay. After the deputation, Councillor Mark Bench tried to delay the ratification vote until the 21st, believing the public needed more time to consider the project. Many in the public weren't aware that this item was coming up last Monday. Uh, and after Monday's meeting, they were left with approximately six days to absorb the information, hear alternate points of view, talk about it. Maybe we need some fresh eyes to look at this. Councillor Albert Aiello agreed with Bence and believed it wasn't the time to ratify a vote as significant as this, with a new city manager starting in just a few weeks. The new city manager is ideally going to lead us into the future, and we're dropping this on his lap. Like, welcome to Thunder Bay. This man has spent 48 hours in Thunder Bay. I don't think he's eaten a Persian. So what kind of insight would he possibly have into a decision of council that has taken years to come to? We've had thousands of people have input. It was built into our last strategic plan. Council ultimately stuck with their previous decision, ratifying the turf facility by a 9-4 to four vote count. The city is now calling on developers who may be willing to build the facility. Also during the meeting, a vote to spare three parkettes that the city was looking at selling to housing developers. That includes the ones at Holly Crescent, Thistle Crescent, and Thornlow Drive, coming after significant community advocacy. Vicioios Bellos, TBT News.